guys, so welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a vlog, okay? Something that I have not done in a minute. So today I am, right now I'm on my lunch break and I need to run some errands because we're getting ready to uh, go on a couple's trip, not a retreat, just a trip, fun trip. Um, and I haven't packed and I haven't gathered the things, but there are a few things that I need to pick up from Target. And then um, I wanna find like this cute, cutesy backpack. I have a backpack, but I wanna find a cute backpack um, to travel with because I want to take my laptop because I want to um, edit in my spare quiet time um, my some podcasts. I've decided to move my podcast. Well, not move them, but add them to an actual YouTube channel. If you followed me for a while, you know I did the Sincerely CJ podcast and I'm getting ready to rear those back up. So those are on Spotify and I wanna move them to a YouTube channel. And it's just gonna be an audio, it won't be video. I'm not sure if I will graduate to a video podcast. Right now, I just love uh, words of encouragement, um, maybe some things that I have discovered in my daily devotional that I wanna share, you know, about life, um, insights, you know, things of that nature. So I'm taking my laptop um, for that reason. And, you know, of course I'll pack some other things in the backpack. It'll be about eight of us going and um, I'm excited. I'm excited about the trip. I have had many, many missed vlogging opportunities, but you know, I just have, I've been living, okay? I've been living my life and living in the present. And those of you out there who knows what vlogging is about, it sort of takes away from that. And um, it's a lot of work, even though it may seem like you just turn on the camera and record what you're doing, it's way more to it than that. So I think I'm ready to start back doing that. So we'll see if this goes up, you know your girl thugged it out and made it through, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go in Target, probably go into Marshalls, and then um, I wanna go to Best Buy because I wanna get the Sony vlogging camera I promise you, I promise you that's gonna be the last camera I'm buying for this YouTube. <laughs> I've purchased like two or three Canon cameras and they've been like really heavy duty cam cameras and all two end up recording on my phone. And so I do feel like that this Sony camera that I'm about to purchase will be conducive to what I need and it's a, it'll be lightweight. So I'm gonna go and Best Buy and see if they have that, all right. Anyway, without further ado, let's go into Tart J. I am in the Mustang today. I'm trying to do my best and drive this more. I'm a creature of habit and I'm just used to my little everyday vehicle, but I do, I absolutely love this car. I know this. I know that drives my husband crazy because he's like, I bought her this car. <laughs> and she is just driving it once a week, if that much. But I'm driving it more. I'm gonna drive it more. I promise, I promise, babe, I promise. So anyway, let's head into Target. I spent way too much time in Target on my lunch break, so I ran out of time. Right now, we are picking up the rental car for the weekend. Woot, woot. I'm definitely going to give you a full haul of what I purchased from Target. Um, I think I showed you everything, but I just want to, you know, do a little haul session or section in this vlog. Okay, so pause. There will not be a haul. I took all of that stuff back to Target because... I had way too many clothes at home already. So when I got home and started trying on things and going through my closet, I was like, girl, 
what are you buying this for? You already have enough to take on this trip. So I took it back, but at least you got to see, you know, me trying it on in Target. So I will not be doing a haul, a Target haul on the items that I already showed you. Okay. Then I also got two other things that I want to show you guys. I purchased a fragrance a couple weeks ago, and then I have that Coach handbag that I really need to unbox both of those. Well, I'm going to show you that in this vlog. I'm going to try to make this kind of a long vlog and try to keep keep up with that but we shall see so i will see you guys back at home once we get this rental yeah that's definitely yeah you're recording okay so we're gonna go with the suburban Y'all got enough room to bring me with you though? Come on, let's go. Where y'all going? Just pack. We're going to Savannah for the weekend. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, just I, I pack you a light. couple outfits. Yeah. Come on. That's it. Yeah. Go, go out on the town, have some dinner, you know? Yeah, just hang out. That's it. <laughs> All right, give me a few minutes. Okay. okay. okay.
No, I don't. No, I'm saying this. You, you got this. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, so you get me in landscape this morning. It is early as you can see. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to do a recap of the trip. You'll probably get a lot of B-rolls only because I didn't want to take away from the moment. You know, during the trip, there are other people, you know, there's eight of us and you know, everybody doesn't want to be on camera, but uh, we're getting ready to head out. Um, in a few hours, I decided to come out, do my Bible study, and have a bagel, um, you know, and just give the first, my first fruits to, you know, to the Lord. So, yeah, everything was good. We had a good time. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back to Atlanta. And just like that, we back. We back. We back in the ATL. Okay, so today is Monday. I took off today and tomorrow. I like to take off, you know, a couple days after a vacation just to give myself some downtime. Um, but today I'm running some errands. I need to go by the bank. I need to go to my seamstress and pick up two pair of pants. I purchased two pair of pants from Target. They were really nice, but they were way too long, you know, to wear with flats. So... Um, I took them to her and I need to pick those up. Then I'm going to go to Home Goods because I want to do a little fall, pre fall refresh for my guest bedroom. What I'm going to do is just pick up some accent pillows, possibly another quilt or comforter, and a piece of artwork for that. So I'm going to take you along with me um, on that. So let's go and run these errands. <laughs> So it is Tuesday. Um, it is the last day of my vacation. <laughs> I'm headed to Ikea because I need a longer desktop. So hopefully I can get in and get out, honey, because you know Ikea would be madness. But because it's a Tuesday at noon, hopefully, 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 I can go in here and get it and come right back out. And then there are a couple other places I need to go as well. I was able to get my guest room together. I think I talked about that in um, uh, previous clips, but I did add a few updates. I got a new comforter, quilt comforter, a couple of new pillows. So um, I was able to get that together this morning. I'm very pleased. I don't plan on doing a whole lot of fall decor 
because I like what I have. Um, but there are a few uh, updates that I want to do. And it's a couple furniture items I need to replace because we've had them for a really long time. So, you know, I'm just taking my time with it and doing a little bit at a time. So, yeah, let me uh, turn on a little music and um, we will be at Ikea probably in about 30 minutes, honestly, because every day is a day of traffic in Atlanta. So I will see you in Ikea. All right, y'all, so we made it to Ikea. I got my got my item numbers so really I can just go to the bottom and get what I need instead of you know walking through all of Ikea but I still might peruse a little bit so let's see Definitely gonna need a cart. So I'll for bin 38. Uh, no. Uh, is this Al 4? Or is it on this side? Okay, here we go, I think. Al 4, Ben 38, did it not say? Oh, that says Al 6. It's Al 4, 39. Uh, mm -mm. That's not it. Okay. Oh, let me check that again. Right here in my face. Al 4, Ben 38. This is what I need right here. 89. Okay, so I thought it was 69 on the website. Okay, so we made it fit, we made it fit. Jeez, I measure everything but the inside of this car, but I took the headrest off, and instead of trying to lay the seat this way, I laid it all the way back, thank God. And I still got plenty of room here, so. Woo child. Let's just hope I measure this right for the house. All right, let's get back home. All right, we back at the house. Don't mind this room because I gotta clear all of this stuff out, including that rack right there. This little carpet is gonna go. And that is the desk, 78 and a half inches, I do believe. 
So that's gonna fit perfectly up against this wall and it's gonna give me so much more room, um, you know, on my desk space. So I don't have to have like this little table. This room originally was like our gym and we will still keep like weights and stuff like that. But I wanted to make sure that our guest bedroom was just that because every time we would have guests like William's mom or, you know, my family, I would have to move my desk stuff upstairs. So to prevent going back and forth, I'm just gonna dedicate this room to office space and then a little bit of, you know, weight training and, you know, I'll make it a weight room slash or workout room, light workout room slash office. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, and then that door has to be replaced. That mirror needs to go. That was a part of when this was my youngest daughter's room. This used to be her room. And eventually this floor, this flooring upstairs, I want to change it. But, you know, you guys take baby steps. Honey, all that stuff is expensive. So um, I'm going to put this together. And then, um, you know, decide what goes to Goodwill and what stays. I'm going to take that down, and then I'll see you guys when I'm done. Just gotta get that stuff back up there. I'm gonna replace that door. And yeah, I'll decide how I'm gonna decorate my new desk. As long as I got plenty of room. Hey girl, hey, so I don't know what this vlog is gonna contain. I feel like it's just gonna be a mishmash of things. Hopefully I can make it long because I haven't vlogged in a really long time. And honestly, if I'm being real honest, I've been going back and forth in my head on if I wanted to start up the vlogs or just to do dedicated videos. But I got a lot of footage. I'm gonna put it together and we're gonna see, we're gonna make it do what it do, okay? So um, your girl is a little rusty with all of this. So I don't know what the editing is going to look like. Hopefully, It'll be interesting since it's long, but it is Friday. It is Friday and I am working on a balloon arch for my daughter for Sunday. We're doing a Sunday brunch. She turned 30 this Tuesday. I have a 30 year old. <laughs> this Tuesday, um, she turned 30 and we wanted to throw her some sort of party. So we decided and landed on uh, we, meaning my youngest daughter and my sister, decided to do a brunch. A Sunday brunch so I asked her what her favorite color was and she said lime green and I was like okay cool what am I gonna put with lime green so um, these are the balloons that I got aren't they pretty beautiful metallic um, and then I'm going to couple them with this black and then a, a pearlized cream color and I'll make a balloon arch um, the combination though is lime green and black and white stripes. Let me show you the runners I got. I'm doing black tablecloths and then a black and white stripe runner. So these are the runners. I got them from Amazon and they are cheap. The material kind of um, burned a little bit when I tried to iron them because one of my pet peeves is having like tablecloths and runners and stuff without wrinkles. And I see people set up all this time with wrinkled tablecloths and stuff. Hey, I ain't judging nobody, but it's just a pet peeve of mine. I would prefer things to be ironed and straightened. So lime green, black and white. I'm throwing in some floral, like a little floral arrangement 
um, as well. Let me show you. I don't know why I didn't grab it while I was up. I got these little vases from Amazon last month because I did a party for my youngest daughter too. I didn't, if I find the footage or some photos, I will put it, you know, I'll put it in this vlog, but it turned out really, really pretty. And um, anyway, that is why I got these little vases. They came six to a pack and I'll probably order another pack because I really do like them. And then I got these little flowers from the Dollar Tree, which I'm going to, it's another little piece that I gotta go and get from another Dollar Tree because the one I went to didn't have all the flowers I need. So I'm gonna make this a little bit more full. As you can see, these have some hints of lime green on the inside of that. So these will go on the tables and I feel like it's, it's gonna be really, really cute. It's supposed to be really nice weather between 76, 79 degrees um, on Sunday between 11 and one. So that's good, it won't be hot. <laughs> and we'll be able to sit outside on the deck. I'm going to sit up outside um, for this for this party. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on. I'm making my clusters. These are the clusters for the arch. And you know, gotta put the clusters together. So I'm working on that one day when I retire, cause I'm retiring early. Hopefully I'll be able to do this as like a little side hustle because I love to decorate. I love being creative and putting things together. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna finish um, getting my clusters together. I will then probably put this together and, and then I'll show you, you know, I'll show you my progress. I already got a mock table set up downstairs. And then Sunday, um, hopefully, I'll be able to show you everything. I'm not sure if I will include that in this vlog because I feel like this vlog has a lot. I got a Savannah trip that I'm including in this vlog and then just some other clips. So uh, yeah, maybe I will save the actual party for <clears throat> the next vlog. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Hey girl, hey, it's Friday, it's the weekend. I cannot wait until five o'clock so I can clock out and just B. Okay. Okay. So anyway, see y'all in the next clip. so um happy saturday this is sort of fast forward but i'm gonna put this video back close to um the savannah footage i wanted to include my savannah haul because i did buy a few things from some of the stores in savannah and because i didn't and i wasn't able to do a target haul because i took all that stuff back i was like let me just share with you guys what i purchased from savannah so me and the ladies went in a few of the stores while the guys hung out and let me just say we stayed on the riverfront and they have the old savannah with the marketplace and all of the goodies candies and all the different stores that if you've been to savannah you're familiar with but they also had this newly developed area to the left of the riverfront new hotels new stores new restaurants it was really really nice y'all me and my husband said we're gonna go back stay at the new hotel and just really indulge in um some of the you know newer facilities so with that said we went into a couple stores the first store was the savannah v company and um, they have all sorts of natural honeys lavender honeys orange honeys chocolate honeys i'm making that up but 
all sorts of honey. So typically I don't put honey or anything in my herbal teas, but I thought, I said, you know what? I could, I could try a little bit. And we use honeys for other th different things as well. They were a little pricey for what you get. Um, but, um, well, that's just my thinking anyway, for a little three ounce bottle of honey, this was $7. So, and I got the orange blossom honey and, um, yeah, I thought I started to get the lavender, but I was like, you know what? I might like the orange. The orange might go better with my, with the herbal teas that I have. So I purchased this from the Savannah Bee Company. I also got this tea infuser i don't have one like this typically i just use tea bags but um i do have some um i mean they're all natural teas but you know what i mean that they're not in the bag that i want to put in this so these are the two items that i got from the savannah b company and that infuser was just five bucks we also went into this store called nor organics natural N O U R, and it had a lot of um, hand soaps, body soaps. They're all natural. Um, room sprays, uh, essential oils, scrubs, hand scrubs, body scrubs, bath bombs. It smells so good in that store. It kind of puts you in the mind of Lush, but not really. Same concept, but it was a little different. It just seemed a little bit more. I don't want to say mature because that sounds old, <laughs> but it was different. It wasn't as fun and festive as Lush. However, it was still very, very good. Um, they had a lot of areas where you could try before you bought the stuff. And when I tell you that the scrub, it wasn't sugar scrub. She said they used salt scrub and that it was more effective. You know how they sell you th these things. But honestly... I used that salt scrub on my hands. And when I tell you my hands were so soft, even after I washed them later, they were really soft. So the first thing I purchased was this rosemary essential oil. Now, rosemary essential oil is supposed to be good for headaches and stress. So if you get some rosemary oil, you take a little dab, put it behind your ear. It's supposed to reduce migraines and headaches and stress. So uh, I got that. Then I also got the scrub that I was talking about. And this is, again, the sea salt scrub. And this is the white tea ginger. I fell in love with this fragrance. Um, they had a lot of great other fragrances, but this is the one I kept, that kept pulling me in all of the different categories and the lotions and the, oh, they had candles too. Um, so this is a 12 ounce, yeah. This is a 12 ounce and they had like a whole little starter kit package. So me and one of the ladies went in together and got the items that we really wanted. I wanted this. She wanted some of the body soaps and hand lotions. And so we kind of went in together and purchased the things. Um, it also came with this washcloth, this Ayati made from natural fibers washcloth. She didn't want it. So she was like, you can have it. So I took that. Maybe I'll use it in like a gift set or something that I make for some for someone, you know, in my family for a birthday. Who knows? But that is all I purchased from that Noor Organics Natural Store. Uh, you know, your girl had to squeeze in a handbag. She had to get a handbag. Um, this store, let's see, what was the name of this store? Outside Savannah. So that's this bag. Outside Savannah. They had sandals. They had some clothing. Um, they had handbags. It 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 gave you like a beachy thing, sorta. I mean, I know it says outside Savannah, so it's outside, but uh it was more of like a beachy thing to me because it like I said, it was a lot of sandals and stuff. Anywho, they had these cute little bags. Girl. -a. They had it in white. There was um, a navy blue. And I forgot what other color. But I really, 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 really like this color. Fall is coming up. And so, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is, is this real leather? It's called the Aria Ring 
bag um, in Spice. And Joy Susanna is uh, the name brand. But look at her. It's so cute. It does have a strap. Let me give you a tour. That's what it looks like on the inside. It is very functional. Very functional. You got your compartments. You got your little zipper. You can wear it as a crossbody, or you can, you know, carry it like this with like a little dress. You know, you see the vision. So um, this was $68. And this was one of the items. It wasn't on sale. They had a lot of clearance stuff on sale, but this one wasn't on sale. But I feel like it's worth, it was very um, much so worth the money. So yeah, got this little girl to add to my handbag collection. Um, what else did I get? What is this? Some of this stuff, I don't even remember what I got. That's bad, ain't it? Oh, this was from the, um, the store, the candle store, the candle and the floors, floral store, where I said they made the flower arrangements right there on the spot. So one of the reasons we went to Savannah was to celebrate one of the ladies' birthdays. It was her birthday that weekend and another couple was celebrating an anniversary. And so, um... I wish I had recorded the arrangement that the girl made, but I got an arrangement made for um, one of the ladies that was with us because that particular day was her birthday. It was so pretty. Um, and so I purchased that. And then I also got one of the candles. And this candle right here, this store again was very expensive, but this coconut milk candle, y'all, when I tell you this smells so good, um, this is called a botanical wax candle by the brand Makina Makana. Oh, oh, when I listen, listen, this is giving me all kind of tropical vibes. Oh, this takes this is taking me on vacation just by smelling this. But um, this candle was fifteen dollars for this little this little this little guy. Okay. <laughs> This little guy was $15, but uh, we were on vacation. Typically, when you're on vacation, you spend a little bit more than normal. And so I treated myself to this little candle. And like I said, I also purchased um, the lady that floral arrangement. Last but not least, what is this? Oh, this is um, this is a gift that that, that particular um, friend, I keep saying lady, she's our friend. Uh, she gave all of the ladies when we first uh, got on the road uh, for the trip. And it's another, what is this? This is a Burt's Bees hand cream. And this is the almond and milk. And this smells so good too. I love anything with almond in it. It smells like that Jergens lotion with the cherry in it. That's what this smells like. But it's very, very hydrating. This is a very, very hydrating cream so if you're looking for a hydrating hand cream check out the burt's bees hand cream oh, that smells so good and that concludes oh and i bought this little fan because child it was hot and savannah was hot it was so hot but um i got this from one of the little gift shops i got plenty of fans so I ain't nothing special about this but that concludes the savannah hall enjoy the rest of the video happy saturday so this morning we are at a football game for one of the grandkids we had to come out west to Carrollton high school which is a really big school i've never been to Carrollton high school but it is huge Campus is like a college campus. Yeah. 
happy Sunday. So update, uh, we ha had to cancel the brunch um, for today for family reasons. We have um, some sickness in the family. It was sort of like an emergency. So we had to cancel um, Jamila's brunch. So we'll schedule that later. Right now I'm getting a charge because I was at 18% in my vehicle. So I'm just sitting here getting a charge. I had to re uh, run some errands, return some things. And then I'm gonna go back home and edit this vlog. I'm assuming that this will be in the vlog. I am going to say that I will end this vlog with this clip here <laughs> because as I stated before, I think it's gonna be a lot um, in contained in this vlog. So after I edit this vlog, I am going to record my handbag unboxing, the coach handbag. And then um, I also have a um, new fragrance that I purchased and um, I'll share a cocktail that the guy at Saks um, shared with me. You might already know what it's new to me and it could be new to some of you guys. So anywho, I'm gonna do that. With that said, thank you for joining me in this vlog. Again, I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things <laughs> in terms of vlogging and editing and all of that. So just bear with me until I can get back into it. But until the next vlog or the next video, thank you. Um, thank you for any new subscribers. Thank you for the OGs. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.